वंदे गुजरात हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम टू दिस सेकेंड डे ऑफ दिस इंटरक्टिव टी वी शो ऑन मैथमेटिकल कन्सेप्ट दिस इज एन यूनिक शो द इंटेंशन ऑफ दिस शो इज दैट पीपल शुड स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग ऑन मैथमेटिक्स इंटरक्टिंग विथ मैथमेटिक्स द मोस्ट अनपपुलर सब्जेक्ट और टॉपिक आई शुड से एंड वी आर इन ए मिशन टू मेक दिस अनपपुलर सब्जेक्ट मोस्ट पॉपुलर सब्जेक्ट एमंग स्टूडेंट्स सो विथ दैट मिशन वी हैव स्टार्टेड दिस प्रोजेक्ट एंड दिस प्रोजेक्ट हैविंग ए ग्लोबल टच इन द सेंस वी विश दैट इन फ्यूचर इंडिया विल शो द वर्ल्ड हाउ टू लार्न मैथमेटिकल कंसेप्ट एंड दिस इज द स्टार्टिंग फॉर दैट वी वॉन्ट टू बी ए वर्ल्ड लीडर इन सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऑफ मैथमेटिकल कंसेप्ट एज वेल एज द टीचिंग ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स और मैथमेटिकल कंसेप्ट और साइंटिफिक कंसेप्ट सो दिस इज दिस इज आवर मिशन एंड पीपल in earlier days in uh, where in our early civilization uh, people used to come to india to learn uh, gain knowledge and and we want that to to regain that uh, 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 process uh, now and people should come to india to learn mathematics so this this is a ambitious project we have started and with that we will be uh, uh, starting our presentation uh, th- this is the second day of our workshop and uh, it uh, yesterday we had a introductory session and uh, tomorrow uh, this objective is to provide high quality mathematics education to masses this this uh, from this single uh, sentence you can uh, think that it is not targeted for teaching uh, mathematics to class 1 class 2 class 3 yeah, this mathematics is generalized mathematics which is required for everyday life and we want to teach it to masses anyone from um, uh, his early age to the uh, late 90 90s uh, or hundreds uh, of years of age anybody can learn if he wish to learn so it is a generalized uh, math education on mathematical concept so it is targeted for masses so this is a very unique thing and uh, i hope that the class 1 to 12 students all should attend this workshop because this uh, uh, workshop or this uh, presentation is not targeted for any class it is a uh, mathematics uh, related to our daily life daily life and we will uh, create a lot of uh, modeling and uh, other uh, activities which we, which uh, they can practice in their home and particularly i should say parents parents and in very specifically or particularly i should say uh, uh, mothers mothers want that their child should uh, learn mathematics not only mathematics every subject in nicely but exactly they uh, don't know what to start how to start how to guide and uh, mothers why i am uh, emphasizing on that because mother spend maximum time uh with a, a child and uh, she knows that uh, the uh, attitude and behavior of the uh, child and what he or she likes or dislikes and uh, accordingly uh, she can mold uh, the teaching process provided she, she knows that what to teach so what to teach actually uh, this is a big question what to teach and how to teach and i my focus is on that uh, what to teach and how to, uh, to teach so for that my, uh, my thought is that you don't teach anything you just observe the uh, child 
see that what he likes to do maximum you allow him to do that that means engaging engaging uh, uh, in his own activities so this is uh, this is one uh, 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 first requirement he, he gets en engaged in any of the activities then he will find out the resources required he will learn the methods required he, he requ uh, anything required for that engagement he will arrange that he, uh, uh, so uh, this is the first thing don't try to force anything to your child that you do this you do that you do that it, it observe that what he likes most and uh, uh, help him to do that and uh, uh, that should be that uh, need not be directly from mathematics but indirectly everything uh, boils out to the mathematics whatever you do it is having mathematics so when a person get engaged in any activity automatically mathematics will start with that so this is my suggestion so we provide high quality mathematics education to masses and this masses also i should uh, clarify the targeted audience because in uh, our country or any other country uh, literacy uh, numerical literacy is one of the issues numerical literacy those countries are uh, weak in uh, numerical literacy uh, they are in general poor so poor countries you can define in that way uh, we stress on uh, literacy but uh, simple literacy will not help numerical literacy is required and numerical li literacy in the sense they should able to calculate as uh, and when required in uh, real life so they should not be dependent on somebody to uh, calculate for them so once uh, we can achieve that goal then we can improve the numerical literacy and we can uh, lead a higher level of uh, life in the sense uh, uh, money uh, uh, with rich money i can uh, lead a good life but also with uh, greater knowledge you can also uh, live a rich life so uh, that is the uh, one of the aspects of that uh, to improve numerical literacy so how to uh, improve that literacy we all know that there are hundreds of uh, millions of uh, child uh, they uh, don't go to school and and uh, they don't have the ability uh, means uh, uh, access to uh, quality school or schooling and and they remain uh, out of the system so how to uh, import literacy or numerical literacy to them so many of the organizations already working for that and i wish that uh, uh, they should also concentrate on uh, numerical literacy in the sense uh, they are most uh, of them uh, i have seen unicef i have seen the nam countries uh, association then uh, sarc countries association they are doing lot of things lot of things but uh, they are not uh, focusing on the improvement of uh, numerical literacy so that is one of the things uh, which is required government also trying um, uh, they are level based i, I have seen in gujarat uh, many remote areas i have visited but infrastructure wise i should say the top most world class uh, infrastructure is schools uh, that with uh, smart boards and everything is available almost in that uh, uh, villages also so this uh, aspect is uh, available but now we have to integrate and technology also uh, available now now we we require a process where this uh, uh, pupil uh, can uh, interact with us and this is possible only online uh, they can have uh, they have everyone nowadays having a uh, gadget like that a small uh, thing uh, 
but with that they can connect with anyone uh, worldwide and in this remote areas also they have uh, good uh, um, uh, signals and uh, no issue to uh, connectivity so all this advancement has come and uh, only thing we should uh, provide uh, them the access and humans are always uh, creative and uh, they have uh, uh, have an uh, uh, ability to learn themselves so initially many people thought that india is not that much uh, literate and uh, their uh, uh, mobile phone will not work and uh, they insisted that wireline telephony um, is the uh, good here so uh, mobile phone may not be that much uh, 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 means like people will like uh, that but nowadays everyone is using a smartphone even uh, those are not having opportunity to go to a school they are also uh, using it uh, uh, effortlessly so this can happen only only technology can bring this uh, revolution and we have this technology and we should uh, 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 devise the how to integrate uh, each other we uh, those can have a capability to give something and those want uh, that thing so this integration once uh, done then i think this numerical literacy will improve our society have more advancement in science and technology regularly we can uh, uh, see nowadays also we are seeing uh, every day uh, the world is changing new technology is coming we get, we are getting comfort after comfort whatever we think today tomorrow somebody is supplying so many uh, initiative from the startups and this uh, initiative will go on cumulatively it will increase and and exponentially it will increase what i feel if i we can uh, able to connect uh, those a large number of people who is not in our uh, network uh, directly so for them how mathematics we can teach so we don't uh, force them you go to a school you read one then class 2 class 3 class 3 4 5 6 like that 12 years you have to spend to learn all mathematics that way we cannot uh, teach them we cannot improve the numerical literacy so what to be done and what to be done the answer is in our uh, this uh, uh, interactive session this is not a teaching session this is not an tuition center this is not a mathematics uh, workshop nothing it is a discussion uh, and uh, people if you get uh, 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 the opportunity to interact with us i think uh, they can learn already i will show some slide where i tell that people will uh, know and uh, i will start that uh, slides actually so uh, this is our objective as i told uh, then this is about some myself uh, i am not going to spend some time on that uh, and this is my journey yesterday i uh, explained about that that making mathematics popular and this popular not in literary sense in real sense i want that uh, after five uh, years or uh, ten years uh, down the line people will choose mathematics uh, uh, before any other subject uh, we want to make mathematics so popular and these are the supports i received uh, i have yesterday explained i am not going to repeat this and these are the target uh, pink color districts is my target uh, districts i will be visiting those districts i will interact uh, 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 that students and uh, take a special uh, initiative for them and others also i am open to all and but uh, government has given me one year uh, uh, support pilot project for implementing here and these are the feedbacks i am i am just skipping all these things and uh, i will start one this this is my thinking or thought or you can say my research finding what is this actually 
humans are born math literate so we born with uh, the ability to calculate and and uh, that's why we never face any problem in uh, society when we uh, even fail in mathematics still we uh, uh, succeed in life the reason behind that we know already mathematics and uh, second line i have told that they don't know that they know mathematics so this is another problem everybody whenever i meet and i discuss about uh, mathematics then they told sir i don't know mathematics i tell them <laughs> you don't know that you know mathematics so we don't teach mathematics in that sense we we create awareness about math and uh, we try to convince people that you already know mathematics and today i will be doing something uh, to explain that uh, uh, thought and i think uh, uh, i will also in doing that i will also able uh, to uh, pinpoint the gap between these two when i am claiming that everybody is a mathematician everybody knows mathematics again i am telling that <laughs> they face maximum problem in learning mathematics so where the gap comes and how this gaps come come and once we know that how this gap is created we can uh, fix that gap so so this is my initiative of all these uh, efforts on uh, mathematics teaching and learning and now uh, with that uh, i will be doing something today uh, these are the things uh, I, i should mention yesterday i have not mentioned about g2's co um, contribution uh, this is a uh, scene uh, from uh, 7 june 2014 you can say and uh, that uh, uh, professor uh, akshay agarwal he was a uh, vice chancellor of gtu so one day i approached that, uh, that uh, during that time i just uh, started my project on mathematics uh, teaching and i have developed some new way of teaching mathematics and then uh, i thought that why not to try it to some students so i approach uh, dr uh, 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 aksha agarwal ji and uh, when i uh, discussed and as a mechanical engineer i i am a mechanical engineer so uh, he got surprised that uh, being a mechanical engineer and i am a, uh, a reserve engineer by by profession and i am uh, trying to teach mathematics so it was a very funny combination for him uh, but he took it very seriously and and uh, so much uh, seriousness i have never seen to anyone and uh, he explained that he uh, knows the issue he tried from his uh, previous experience many initiative they have taken to popularize mathematics but uh, he knows that it was uh, no 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 none of the uh, efforts or initiative was uh, uh, yielded any good result so he knows that this there is a problem and uh, there is no solution so he encouraged me but he has encouraged in uh, <laughs> what i should say today uh, uh, okay chanchal uh, i wa wish that you you conduct this workshop for university faculties and that time <laughs> uh, this is all uh, 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 gtu faculties uh, uh, and he told uh, i sa i got surprised uh, how uh, sir i don't know what i want to teach i i am not a mathematician i don't know even that uh, this mathematics uh, how much effective this mathematics whatever i am uh, doing and i never uh, taught mathematics uh, any other subject i am not a teach uh, i am a professional engineer i am not a teacher still he insisted me and we conducted this first first workshop he invited many of the uh, faculties of uh, uh, colleges from uh, gtu and uh, this was a very successful workshop i i received 8.4 out of 10 uh, score in that and many of the participant uh, rated uh, 100 out of 100 like that and uh, th that encouraged me and after that i used to uh, i have conducted many of the workshops
so the, uh, these are the some of the institutions uh, where we have uh, conducted mathematics workshops Yeah. So sorry. Uh, this is the first workshop I have conducted in uh, National Institute of Oceanography in uh, 2014, and subsequently I have conducted this uh, uh, GTU. Uh, GTU I have conducted many more than 20 mathematics workshop that time, but it is uh, even more than 20 also. And then uh, Dhirubhai Ambani Institute of Information and Communication Technology, so NID, then this uh, Silbaro Kini College, Pir Benas uh, College, so Sajanan Laser, this is a, a, a very good stories are there, Sajanan Laser, uh, that uh, founder and owner is uh, Arvind uh, Patelji and uh, he himself was attending this workshop and this was for professionals, not uh, faculties. So, um, uh, one uh, 39 engineers and scientists uh, from Sajanan Laser used to attend that workshop. So, that was the one of the good achievements uh, in that. And then uh, this is uh, uh, Sri uh, Padmavati Mahila Vishwavidyalaya here uh, in Tirupati. Actually, Tirupati Andhra Pradesh uh, Innovation Society invited me to uh, participate in their uh, one uh, accelerator program for uh, promoting my mathematics workshop and this workshop was part of, of them. Then I presented one paper at Imperial College. Here the topic was that uh, uh, how to teach mathematics in 21st century. The title itself was uh, that uh, teaching mathematics in 21st century. 21st century teaching mathematics in the sense I wanted to uh, focus on uh, using technology in teaching mathematics. So I will explain today uh, all these things, then Ganpat University, then uh, Gujarat University. Gujarat University have in uh, uh, I think Dr. Amen Portel sir uh, was their vice chancellor. He um, uh, was very fond of mathematics and uh, yeah, helped me to conduct this workshop. Then uh, SSIT is uh, I started told that they have uh, uh, the HOD of mathematics. Uh, she attended my workshop and she praised my workshop like anything uh, later on. So, uh, Sri Saminara Institute of Technology, they provided me a very big hall for establishing mathematics lab and now Das Math lab is uh, situated at SSIT. So all these uh, uh, programs, uh, workshops I have conducted, they have a story uh, to tell. So with that, uh, next, uh, uh, oh, sorry. Anyhow, so this is the uh, background uh, of uh, my workshop. Later, I have conducted so many workshops uh, uh, in uh, different uh, countries also, 
in dhaka university i have conducted a workshop in kathmandu university kashmir university kashmir central university uh, like that so many workshop i have conducted here gujarat uh, in gujarat i have conducted many of the ganpat university parul university uh, i have shown that uh, gtu and gujarat university and many others and uh, i have conducted lot of online uh, workshops online workshops uh, for that uh, i wanted to think but uh, what was the problem i was facing is that everybody inter interested in uh, learning syllabus based uh, course in the sense uh, uh, the student who is in class 12 he want that i should uh, help him to uh, prepare for uh, joint entrance or competitive exam like that but i was focusing on uh, teaching concept a mathematical concept i was not interested to uh, help a student to solve their mathematical problems or uh, solve uh, prepare them for uh, a competitive exam or a school exam once i feel that once you know the concept then you can uh, do or solve any problem so we, this was the motivation so with that i started this and uh, i am still uh, not uh, not received mass uh, 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 what i should uh, acceptance i should say acceptance i have not yet received acceptance i am struggling uh, there to convince people that uh, the you if you learn concept then you can uh, solve any problem and uh, i think i will be able some day to convince on that but my journey is going on and i am helpful that now i am getting uh, good support from my surroundings from government and those uh, leaders in uh, so, uh, society uh, leaders and um, uh, 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 many school college authorities also want that they should uh, uh, students should get engaged with this and a uh, lot of support i am getting now but still i am uh, i want that it should be a revolution like thing Ma people should come forward uh, voluntarily they sir i want to take mathematics as we used to uh, take during my uh, school time we had to compete to take a uh, science stream a lot of competition um, uh, means uh, there was one high secondary school and lot of uh, secondary school so all schools used to come and compete to get this 40 seats in that uh, high secondary school and it was a really uh, challenge uh, how much a uh, student will get in and it it was not uh, that uh, the many of the students were uh, talented students but by their take uh, one competitive exam cannot um, uh, fix his uh, capability so many people could not make the top 40 list and excluded from uh, pursuing uh, science uh, by uh, but i think that that trend will uh, change and now people will come uh, in science in the sense in mathematics also so what are the uh, thing i am claiming uh, so much a uh, tall thing so what is uh, what am i doing this is another question and and i should uh, able to uh, uh, communicate that first so uh, that i am trying to explain now now you think of a real life uh, situation real life situation i will uh, cite i will exa i will give some example with uh, some uh, drawings and uh, in board so please uh, <laughs> so uh, again uh, welcome uh, here uh, this is <laughs> the smart board and this is a this is the challenge uh, what i should say uh, for us now <coughs> every day uh, things are changing world is changing so earlier days this uh, uh, chalks and uh, all those things we used to do uh, that uh, that uh, is not there now i have to uh, use this smart board and i am not uh, uh, used it before so i may 
uh, require some help uh, from your side also. But what actually I want to show? Uh, in uh, one thing you think uh, where to start? Where to start means I I I tell I told you that uh, we we uh, engage first. Engaging if you can engage a students or your child or anyone in any of the activities, then he may uh, uh, rise in the, uh, his career like anything. So, this is the challenge first thing how to engage and uh, for that I will cite one example and what is the example? Uh, earlier uh, in my career also as we are not that bad in mathematics and we are not uh, we can have an affinity to the numbers many people do not have they, uh, many artistic people they have uh, problem with numbers uh, like that, but uh, we did not have that uh, problem. So, we used to solve many uh, magic squares, magic squares used to come uh, what is that magic squares. So, sorry. So, I, I will uh, start with a magic square. So, uh, magic square um, uh, simplest magic square is like that this is a 3 by 3. So, this is a 3 by 3 magic square it is having uh, 3 rows 3 columns and uh, diagonal also there and the problem is that you have to fill 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 sorry. So, these 9 numbers are there and 9 cells are there. So, the problem you, uh, is that you have to you have to fill uh, these 9 numbers in this uh, magic square in such a way that everywhere means if we add up this uh, column it should be oh, sorry 15 this column 15 this column 15 this column 15, this column 15, this column 15 and diagonally if I also uh, uh, add it should add up to 15 like that, this diagonal also 15. So, this has to be complete like that. So, this is the example I want to uh, give and the reason I will be telling. So, how to do that? And uh, up to my, I, I should admit I am now 66 and <laughs> up to uh, 65 of years of my age, I had tried it, sometime I used to solve it, uh, sometime many times I failed it, but I never noticed that uh, this can be solved with a formula or it there is a pattern. This is the weakness of our mathematics learning, uh, I, I especially mention for that this is the why because I never thought I, I man, mechanically I used to put 9 then I used to put 1 so 10 so 5 here so 5 and suppose now I have used this one uh, uh, this used uh, this one then 5 I have used then let us put here any number 4 so 4 and 5 9 9 and then we require a 6 so, 15, so 4 used and 6 used, then I have to write something. So, 15 already there and I cannot put anything here, is not it? So, like that, uh, it is very difficult to uh, feel. So, then I will uh, uh, rub this thing, uh, erase everything and then we will try uh, again uh, something. And after some trial, we fail and we forget it. So, why I am uh, narrating this story? <laughs> the reason is that uh, this month, uh, November, I was uh, visiting Vishwavarati, 
and uh, I stayed there for three days uh, in their guest house. And uh, there in library, I have seen one uh, uh, two volume of books, uh, uh, this much thick books, and I opened. This was a handwritten uh, uh, Xerox copy of uh, Srinivas Ramanujam's notebooks, notebook one and notebook two. So, uh, in general, we are curious about Ramanujam, and uh, I am not exception. I started uh, opening that and started uh, seeing that uh, what is uh, how what Ramanujam did that time during his period. So, first chapter of the notebook one is magic square. First chapter is magic one, notebook one. Notebook one. So, uh, I was very happy to uh, read that because uh, it I, I used to uh, solve all uh, Sudoku is my one of my favorite thing that will also come in my mathematics workshop uh, talk. Uh, but now I am telling it surprisingly I opened the second notebook also. And uh, this first uh, notebook one has a uh, 13 uh, chapter of what I remember 13 or 14 chapter and then I opened that second uh, notebook of the Ramanujam. Uh, it was a uh, not printed uh, typed copy book, it is uh, his handwritten uh, written uh, copy uh, which is uh, Xeroxed in the US, uh, UK and uh, uh, one copy is uh, Vishwavarthi having. So, second notebook that first chapter also in uh, uh, magic square and then what is happened uh, I uh, naturally I got interested on that and I have uh, I was trying to uh, see this uh, what actually Ramanujam uh, did during his days so, what was his expertise that I wanted to uh, 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 no, and then I started uh, looking at the chapters of these things, and many of the chapters is uh, very difficult to understand what was uh, done. But one thing is the uh, thing he was uh, working on series and uh, uh, infinite series, and uh, he was master on that. And the speciality of those series is that he uh, without any um, uh, derivation or any other background, he used to uh, com, uh, uh, derive all those uh, infinite series, and uh, which is uh, the converse uh, that is also there. So, this was the uniqueness, but uh, anyhow, uh, that is another story. But what I wanted to say that. Uh, Naturally, when I got this uh, his books, I got more interested on that. I started surfing uh, on uh, Sinivas Ramanujam, and I got some uh, books uh, written about uh, uh, materials uh, of uh, Ramanujam. Means uh, many people has worked on that and refined uh, Ramanujam's work so that people can understand those things. And one point I have dislike on those uh, 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 books is that there they mention the Ramanujam, uh, these works of Ramanujam was his early days, uh, school days uh, activities and they have not given much importance on these things. He, they have given much more importance to the series uh, expansion and the uh, um, continued fraction. Uh, whatever he uh, has done uh, in his later days, but they have uh, told it is a, his school days activities. But I know that why this, these are important and uh, why I am narrating this story here. I have seen that 
this school days what he has done I have tried this in trial and error method now in his book the it was not an error uh, trial and error he tried to drive some uh, pattern some formula uh, for filling this magic squares and he started with 3 by 3 magic squares then he uh, step by step uh, went to n by n magic square. So, any number and uh, here all the system is 15, 15, 15, but if it is not even 15, 15, 15 means all uh, may not be equal, the diagonal may be different and still it is uh, having some property and he has worked on that. And in that way, uh, this uh, early days work itself shows that uh, his brilliancy. He was not simply uh, working on that and these are the engagement and I think uh, these thoughts uh, in later life we know that he is the world uh, renowned mathematician that he has become because of this earlier uh, days activities on uh, these uh, small uh, things. Uh, we we uh, tell it is a gaming sort of thing not a pure mathematics, but lot of pure mathematics is there and there are uh, a pattern in everything that is the uniqueness. In our life everywhere pattern is there and the mathematician try to find out that pattern, uh, understand that pattern and when you know that pattern then you will know the behavior of all these things. So, uh, this is the starting point. So, what he did? He has uh, told that uh, take the a middle you put it the average of this number say the mid numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, and again uh, these 3 numbers add up to 15. So, it should have some uh, AP sort of thing. I, I am not sure I, whether I can solve it now, just I am, I am trying to tell you that uh, this is also uh, means uh, how he was trying. So, the first thing is that you middle number you should put. So, middle number is 5, so it is in middle. Then uh, these uh, rows and uh, uh, columns that also having some pattern and it is that uh, simple observation they are in AP arithmetic progression. We study arithmetic pro progression, but we never find any use. So, he you know, this number should be in arithmetic pro, uh, progression. So, if you take 4 then uh, it should be 4, 5, 6. So, what a, so 15. So, now I got 15 and similarly uh, other uh, things now you can uh, uh, feel uh, like that uh, any any number you can try. I am not going to try because I can mistake it, but I what I try to uh, tell you that uh, you should try to find this pattern in everything. Okay. So, with that uh, 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 these are the mental activities from his time, but I have now uh, created a model on that in Excel and uh, I can uh, fill this without uh, uh, using my brain I, I can uh, uh, give the numbers I can tell what is the criteria it can fill these uh, things. So, I know how to get it now. So, this was one thing uh, what I uh, uh, try to uh, pe tell people that every mathematical problem whatever is small I I it is let it be, but you try get engaged and try to find a pattern on that and uh, this is a thing. And this pattern uh, uh, manually you cannot go beyond uh, uh, Ramanujan can go 15 by 15 uh, square uh, magic square 16 by 16 magic square, but manually we cannot go we have a limitation. So, uh, we have technology. What uh, Ramanujan did not have that time. So, we we are advantageous position. So, we can use technology and we can uh, do all those things. So, this is my uh, thing uh, what I wanted to share. Okay. So, with that I will uh, uh, go for my next uh, uh, thought about 
uh, the mathematics. So, uh, I am erasing this. Uh, tomorrow, I will again uh, show this uh, magic square how to fill remaining portion. Meanwhile, if you want, you can try it yourself. I told you that this is the middle number you put here. middle number you put in middle and then it should follow a uh, uh, what I uh, told you that it should follow a AP uh, means arithmetic progression. So, if you take 7 here, so wh what is the 7? Oh. 7 here. So, 7 and it should also be in a arithmetic progression. So, 7 means 2 different. So, it should be 3. You can see this, this 3, 5, 7, it is in arithmetic progression, common difference is D means 2. So, like that. So, you, you got this. So, now you can fill remaining things. What is the remaining things? 7, 6, uh, 13, and so it is 2. So, 15. So, it is 5 to 7, so it should be 8. So, 8 and 4, 12 and 15, so it is also matching, so 1. Now, you see, so, see, so this is 9. Now, you have used all the numbers and I think this is the number uh, your uh, magic magic square. So, this is this is the uh, answer you can get. So, uh, now, uh, this is related to magic square and uh, this is related to some uh, special uh, uh, interest. Uh, those are uh, regularly uh, play uh, with numbers. Uh, newspaper every day they give some of the sudokus and similar sort of problems. Those are there, um, uh, but many people uh, do not like uh, that mathematics or numbers. So, for them, uh, how to mm, generate interest, how to generate uh, uh, engage them also in mathematics. So, this is another challenge. So, I will uh, talk on that uh, now. I will erase this. You see everything having a pattern, I am also using first time in this. So, I want to erase max, uh, all the material here. So, what I am doing, I am selecting, this is the selection tool I think and then it will automatically selected and this boundary has come and there boundary there is a menu item, it is hidden, but if you press this hidden and then delete. So, everything wipe out. So, very nice. I could have, uh, if I want to change it, then I can get it uh, here like that. So, uh, this is the advantage of this technology. Now, uh, earlier days once I wipe out, then everything goes, but now I can take it back. And again, funny thing is that I can save it also. Yeah. So, it, it has saved uh, 2 out of 2, that means 2 saved. So, now I will uh, discuss another point. Another point is that uh, whenever you think of uh, any mathematics okay, uh, in real life, so uh, real life we do lot of things. So, uh, when we do some uh, thing, then uh, we, we uh, generally forget that it has some uh, connection with mathematics. So, one of the example I will uh, cite here. So, one minute. So, I want to go there and I will take the paper and I will come back again.
So, uh, 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 come back again. Okay. So, uh, what I want to do? I want to make a um, triangle. So, triangle. This is triangle. Very, very easy. We can do that. And in real life, we never face this problem. In real life, I can uh, draw it in my notebook and uh, like that. But suppose I want uh, to make a um, uh, polyhedra. It, it, it is it is a polygon. I should say. Similarly, this is also a polygon. Square uh, cube like that there are so many polygons and everything is there we can go on adding. So, when we think of this uh, uh, objects uh, you can think of it starts with a point starting with a point when we join these two points we get a line and then we make a, an angle when uh, we join three points like that and then if we reconnect this first point last point then it will be a triangle. So, this way we can create a triangle any time and uh, very easily we do it. And sometimes suppose we require to do some uh, regular uh, triangle, regular uh, triangle wh what is that re regular, uh, uh, regular po polygon sorry re regular polygon then regular polygon means it's all the sides should be of same size that means uh, this uh, this uh, three length should be equal and then i want that we, we should go for a uh, 3d uh, means polyhedra polyhedra that means what uh, what i will be doing in that case uh, simply I will be taking a paper like that so this is a paper then I I have to make it uh, somehow uh, not exact uh, measurement I am taking uh, I want to make it triangle first What I am, I am trying to do is that uh, uh, I, I want uh, to uh, explain it that uh, this is the thing, but it should be a, uh, uh, to have a uh, polyhedra we should have a equilateral triangle means all the side uh, should be uh, uh, of same size. So, uh, here it is not that I have not measured it or just I cut and I have done it, but I am telling you the method. So, uh, here we, uh, I told it starts with a point. Now, I can use my finger also. <laughs> so, no issue. So, this is a point everything starts with a point. So, here also point then three points are there three points when we join then it, uh, it will be a uh, uh, polygon uh, it will be polygon, but polyhedra we require a uh, regular polygon regular polygon means every every side should be same and then you just uh, fold these corners. something like that and then you increase this one. 
So, it will be some uh, polyhedra like that. Uh, as it is uh, sides are different, so it is not exactly happening, but actual uh, process is same, uh, we, uh, we can do that. And uh, in real life problem, we do it uh, whenever we require uh, like that and any ma many of the activities we do like that. So, first thing is that uh, when it is required uh, for a um, uh, for a single piece, we manage to do with uh, these things and if we require uh, to create a lot of uh, similar figures, then what we do? We try to make a template sort of thing and I have made it uh, like that uh, and all these things I, I can do it in physically. Okay. So, this is the uh, thing. And Many people uh, do this modeling to teach mathematics and uh, matter ends there. And uh, this type of activities, it is not that it starts at uh, high level of mathematics. Okay. In class 1, we uh, the pattern, study of pattern starts in class 1 itself. There is a chapter in pattern in class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4, class 5, class 6, class 7. All the uh, books uh, from class 1 to 7, they have a specific chapter on patterns and they try to teach that everywhere pattern is there. So, they start with some simple arrows or simple lines which is uh, simple uh, like that. Uh, This is a um, vertical uh, line, then it is a horizontal line, then again vertical, then again horizontal like that, uh, this movement so on after one. So, these are the uh, 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 patterns there. So, they want to teach us patterns, uh, class 1 there is a pattern, class 2 there is a chapter on patterns, class 3 there is a chapter on pattern and all these things. After 7, I think there is no uh, chapter on pattern. But uh, they tell the pattern in numbers, they have pattern in figures and pattern in everywhere and uh, parallelly they teach in these classes about symmetry, another uh, fascinating world actually uh, that is world of symmetry. So, these two and third thing they teach is visualization. This also comes in 4, 5, 6, 7. So, visualization uh, is not a problem when we deal with uh, 2D, but when we come to the 3D, uh, then visualization matters. So, where you look from? The chapter name is also that class 6, 7, 8, many chapters uh, where you look from visualization like that, very funny uh, titles. So, actually it means that a 3D object if you see in different angle or different perspective, then its shape will change. Because in 3D when we whatever we see, we reflect it in 3D, 2D. So, 3D object and 2D picture of that. So, this conversion when the many of the 3D object appear distorted or uh, elongated, short end or uh, many uh, funny uh, thing in 2D. So, this is the process, but it comes uh, in class 5, 6, 7. It is not that it is not there in school days. So, whatever I will be doing today, it is not that it is uh, not there in schools. All these things are uh, there in schools, but this is uh, taught in a different way than uh, what I will be doing today. So, with that uh, I start. So, where again I emphasize on this, it all starts with a point, then one point added another point. So, it we get one line, then one line another line, we get a angles and two ang uh, end points add, then it will become a triangle. Similarly, we can create a square rectangle or any other uh, polygons. And then if the size angles are uh, equal, then it can be a uh, 
regular polygon and then regular polygon uh, when we fold it in different manner we get a polyhedra. So, this is the uh, uh, thing uh, we require to learn from 1 to 10, but where the problem comes? Because when we do all these activities, we have to do all these activities intuitively and intuitively means you have to uh, uh, see all these things in your uh, mind, you cannot see it or make it physical uh, thing. So, here comes my thought, here a child can uh, do all those things as a uh, activity with my tools very easily. They can start with a point and they can start with this polyhedras. So, uh, very simple way and uh, this is my thing. Once they get started on this uh, doing on this and very uh, it is not that hundreds numbers of tools are required simple I will be using excel and that excel when we uh, they, uh, uh, Excel also they have to learn these three things, only three things. One thing is that uh, modeling, matrix multiplication and third is uh, adding slider or animating these three, nothing else. So, once these three they can do anything I told you. So, that three uh, how we can uh, start with a point then we can get a polygon, then that convert this polygon into polyhedra. This will be my topic today's and after uh, break we will again uh, uh, start with that activities. Okay? So, we will now break for uh, some time and uh, then we will and uh, again before breaking I should tell you that uh, this uh, today you may not be uh, um, uh, you may not be um, seeing this uh, uh, TV show, but this TV shows are, will be available throughout in my uh, YouTube channel, you, in my Facebook, uh, and um, uh, anytime you can access. And whenever you find that uh, this. Uh, uh, things are there. You can uh, see the uh, previous episode and uh, next episode and we can you can see also if you have missed something. And then if you uh, find that any question to be answered, you can even uh, uh, give me my call, uh, call me, WhatsApp me, email me, I will again write all this my contact uh, number share. So, any time and it is not that all the question answer whatever readily I am having I will share with you, but those are not there I can share with you next day because I have to also study something. So, I cannot claim that everything I know, but any uh, con, uh, uh, problem related to mathematics uh, you can uh, write to me and I can uh, I will be happy to share that. Uh, so, uh, So, uh, myself uh, uh, again Myself Chanchal and my WhatsApp number or uh, mobile number eight three two zero one seven two seven eight seven and my email is. at gmail dot com.
So, this is the So, now you can see the technology, how much technology, whatever I have done it is, I have done it is saved there, then I have uh, saved this two and there is third, what is third? Second one was not saved I think. <laughs> Anyhow, so this is the thing and uh, uh, I break uh, and uh, wish that after break I can able to uh, create those uh, point to polyhedra, how to do that. Thank you.
Hello, welcome back to our second session of second day of our interactive TV show on uh, mathematical concepts. We are uh, here uh, to discuss about the mathematical concept and uh, in the first session I have explained that uh, what is that uh, in every mathematical problem there is a pattern and if you can find out those pattern and use those pattern any mathematical problem uh, will can be solved and to do that uh, I have uh, shown you that uh, uh, what I should say magic square. Magic square uh, what uh, Ramanujam was doing uh, very nicely. Tomorrow also I will uh, uh, talk on that. But actually he was trying to find out the uh, pattern on it. And once he got that pattern he has developed so many different types of magic squares. Uh, tomorrow I may highlight on those uh, something. But today uh, I, I talk about uh, another uh, issue that which is related to our real life problems, which is related to our real life problems in the sense that suppose I have to make a polyhedra, tetrahedron, tetrahedron, it is very simple. Uh, if you ask anyone who is a fa familiar with tetrahedron, uh, if you ask how to do that, he will uh, tell that uh, you take three, uh, take one uh, equilateral triangle or you take a paper, uh, piece of paper, uh, draw a equilateral triangle on that and then fold the corners equally and you will, uh, when uh, this, uh, you join in a uh, vertex all these three corners, then you will get a uh, tetrahedron. Uh, very easy and this is the simplest uh, regular tetrahedron uh, means uh, platonic uh, uh, solids. Uh, there are five uh, regular uh, solids uh, which uh, is uh, possible and uh, these are the things uh, when, when this is a matter of study that uh, you cannot uh, create a regular uh, polyhedra for more than five shapes uh, that uh, th that is also a uh, field of study uh, people still uh, many people go on trying that uh, there may be some uh, polyhedra which is which, which can be a regular uh, poly polyhedra which is uh, not in pl uh, platonic solids means five solids so that i will be discussing but uh, that mathematical part I am leaving, I am telling you how to create that. So first create, uh, it is, uh, you can see I have, uh, I am showing uh, some uh, internet. Here you can see I have uh, given search for uh, that net of tetrahedron. Net of tetrahedron, there are two types of nets you have, uh, it is there. Uh, you can see there is a, uh, I can uh, highlight it again. So this is the tetrahedron and how to create that you have to take this net one. Net one means it is a flat uh, 2D figure and if you fold it uh, you can get a tetrahedron. And there is another uh, net uh, which is a, a rhombus uh, sort of thing and uh, when you fold it like that you also get a tetrahedron. So now uh, this is very easy but, but we learn up to this and so many uh, things are there. Here you people uh, see there are a lot of pupils are uh, they are working on popularizing uh, mathematics and there are one uh, great mathematicians he is trying to de uh, do lot of uh, things in uh, popularizing mathematics it is uh, Center for Creative Learning at IIT Gandhinagar and um, the main person is uh, Mr. Monish. These are the uh, website and uh, they are doing lot of things, modeling and uh, many of the 
exciting things uh, 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 for popularizing mathematics like that uh, there are uh, Bikram Sarabhai Science Community Center I think uh, this will do uh, just I want to show something those are uh, people engaged in uh, popularizing mathematics there are one mr bbs sastri who is uh, doing lot of uh, po uh, what is a paper folding and origami uh, i think these are the things with that uh, he is trying to popularize mathematics also uh, through origami so uh, let, lo lot of work is going on and uh, but uh, the problem here is that when we talk about simple polyhedra or uh, tetrahedron uh, uh, if i create it physically i can uh, do it in uh, one to trial uh, we can uh do it but uh, if i require to uh do it uh, uh mathematically mathematically uh, then actually that is a modeling and animation what i try to do then there are lot of problems you will face and once you uh, can solve these problems one by one then uh, i think you will become a not only good mathematicians you can super uh, um, pass your uh, brain and you can do anything in future so let us start this uh, modeling and uh, animation of a tetrahedron so uh, yesterday i have seen this uh, tetrahedron uh when we uh, started working on this uh, i have created a uh, few of the uh, problems in excel and uh, this is you can say that uh, these are the things uh, we yesterday i have created this starts with a point uh, this line curve uh, curve i don't require today i am uh, removing this two lines and angle then triangle then polygon and function today i don't require so yesterday i told about this and today also i will tell about uh, these things and how with this uh, uh, when we go for mathematical problem step by step i will explain and i will explain the problems what i face and uh, how to solve mathematically this is a thing so when we uh, think about that you see polyhedra polyhedra people will tell you take uh, some uh, equilateral triangle like that and you fold the corners and uh, it will become a tetrahedron this is so simple uh, nothing is there uh, these are the um, uh, model i have cut from this um monish ji's uh, website uh, this uh, ccl it gandhi nagar it is not there okay so so uh this template also taken from uh, his it is available in their website and uh, anyone can take this and uh, print this and it, they can make this tetrahedron so here uh, what is uh, what is to be done you can see this is there is a uh, some uh, 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 figures are there inside and this they have created this uh, tetrahedron as a uh, diwali lamp so they what they wanted to do they have made it in a cardboard and they um, create this uh, tetrahedron and they put a lamp inside and uh, this gives a beautiful uh, diwali lamp they create so they have lot of models on that and anyone can uh, get access youtube uh, presentation is there 
uh, how to do that and uh, this paper also uh, in there so with that uh, uh, you can create uh, this so what actually uh, you can see uh, these are not exactly uh, uh, what i should say uh, equilateral triangle rather this right side uh, this left side uh, uh, no this this is the le uh, my left side this left side edge and this dotted two lines they are equilateral tr triangle and uh, uh, this dotted lines this is for folding if you uh, this is for folding when you fold that uh, uh, for uh, 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 putting adhesive or uh, gluing that uh, part uh, to one to another so what you are required to do you have to cut four such pieces four pieces and then you have to glue it each one uh, with one another and when you glue it again uh, this will become a uh, equilateral triangle and bigger triangle so this is the actually uh, this this is the uh, uh, four pieces has been joined here so four pieces uh, has been joined and these four pieces if you uh, already some base is glued and only thing you have to fold it uh, you fold all these edges and like this and this has uh, this is a like a tetrahedron you will get a tetrahedron if you make a, uh, a, a, a stiffer uh, cardboard sort of thing you will get a good tetrahedron in that and if you cut this uh, slots like that or you can cut the slots uh, like any anything then you can get it very uh, uh, good lighting so when you put a bulb with uh, and in a dark uh, room it will uh, uh, this light will uh, light everything and it will be a good design so you can also change that uh, inside cutting uh, portions and you can do so this is available physically it is uh, it appears to be very very simple any uh, skilled person if they try once or twice or thrice they can do it but when you go to mathematics then first question come that how, how you get this equilateral triangle what will be the dimension how you will proceed and all sort of things so uh, here you have to answer yourself and why i uh, encourage everyone to use excel is this because for all these purposes i learned myself uh, i learned uh, 3dx max 3dx max is, is a animation software so in animation software whatever i was doing uh, that uh, i learned that animation software i thought that i will uh, uh, make these models i will animate it in uh, software and i i will i will learn uh, this uh, concept very easily and uh, with that motivation i learned and you know that uh, 3dx max is very costly uh, software uh, and uh, learning this also very difficult uh, not that easy but i i had a motive on that and i learned it and uh, in uh, 1999 i have learned that and uh, i i could make i can make even uh, film also in that uh, i know that how to frame uh, this uh, 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 video is being created and what is the uh, requirement for that very easily and system is uh, so easily they have made anybody uh, uh, try uh, they can uh, do but problem is that it is very costly software and secondly there uh, it is uh, very complex so many uh, options are there so uh, learning is a little bit difficult but uh, once you learn you will enjoy so i learned that i can make the cinemas and all these things but i my motivation was to learn mathematical concept means how uh, mathematics is helping to do this modeling and that was not made 
so that was the issue because if i wanted to make this uh, uh, model uh, of tetrahedron it is already there so i if i take tetrahedron and give the size it will create a tetrahedron for me i don't uh, uh, require to uh, mention everything so the very uh, objective of mine to create uh, um, everything in mathematically so that was defeated so i i have uh, then uh, thought of learning matlab matlab is a good, very good package i learned that matlab and today i may show something but uh, uh, in doing that matlab having a lot of syntax the, if you um, uh, miss one simple syntax and you uh, then uh, your life will be miserable uh, even uh, you miss a dot and uh, it will be very difficult so you and you have to learn everything in everything you uh, require to do you have to learn a new syntax for that there is no general trend so that time uh, this was my learning period you can say uh, at my age uh, around uh, 55 uh, in 2011 i left my job and started engaged on that and uh, then i think 2012 i uh, uh, have taken uh, 16 student from iit gandhinagar as a intern and we had a very good time that uh, uh, period and uh, we engaged with uh, mathematical uh, thoughts uh, exchanging the mathematical thoughts uh, they are uh, solely uh, engaged in uh, helping me in uh, simplification of mathematical concept and all these ideas whatever i was thinking that time now i have lot of clarity uh, on what i am trying to do and why i am trying to do that time i wanted to uh, make the mathematics learning easy and uh, enjoyable that much i was uh, knowing but how to do it and uh, what to do, uh, how, how to implement it nothing was known so i have taken this uh, 16 interns and 16 interns i have chosen uh, from uh, a competition actually iit gandhinagar if uh, you know that in any students uh, those uh, join first year uh, they have uh, around 120 that time 120 intake and uh, first year they studied uh, all the student uh, study same mathematics and after one year they are uh, formed a group of four each so 30 uh, uh, groups 30 groups has to create an project what i am telling all these things because these are the uh, targeted these programs are targeted for school students so they should also know that what process goes on so this uh, 30 gr- uh, groups uh, comprising of four student each 120 students they have to make a mathematical model and they have to present it and uh, that that is the competition and i was a judge on that and in that uh, competition they have done lot of different things one after another they are presenting their ideas uh, how mathematics can be used in our life and from those 30 i selected four teams those i felt uh, very good in mathematics and and uh, that uh, 16 student came and that time i was uh, my motivation was that i wanted to know that uh, how there are uh, millions of students appears in uh, joint entrance only few student can crack it and what are the speciality of those uh, students and a uh, lot of students share that uh, their ideas and their thoughts but one common thing was there they were seeing these mathematical problems geometrically they used to think any function if you give they will tell how this uh, function look like so so like that uh, that was one of the advantage of uh, the students and those uh, students uh, try to remember or memorize these formulas 
there it is very hard uh, for them to crack you uh, uh, calculate uh, in the exam hall and then write the answer you will never uh, uh, complete this 100 questions in that you have to see and you have to feel that this should be the right answer then only you can crack that uh, entrance exams so this was a motivation and from that uh, time i was uh, also giving emphasis on uh, uh, modeling ma learning mathematics through modeling and animation and i was that time uh, i was not that happy with uh, matlab even uh, i had a miserable uh, story to share about uh, when i started uh, matlab very uh, smartly and uh, wanted to plot a point and you will not believe it is really tougher uh, uh, task one of the toughest tasks and uh, toughest in the sense i was not knowing uh, how to do it and uh, i had a, a nightmare uh, situation one day two day three day four day i wanted i can create so a lot of things but i was failing uh, to uh, plot a point then i was uh, i was uh, 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 in the net i put in some blogs uh, that uh, how to uh, plot a point in matlab then one very old uh, 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 professor he is a doctorate in physics and math both from germany he guided me and then uh, i could make it but before that I, it was really a toughest thing in uh, plotting a point in matlab one day i was so frustrated that time i used to sit in nid my office was at nid they have given me a uh, incubative uh, status there and uh, uh, i i went to that uh, uh, market uh, second hand book market and i purchased five matlab books on how to draw a point and no books uh, helped me uh, so these are the thing this uh, experience i want to share actually i don't want to teach mathematics because uh, many uh, student will uh, follow my path it is very very difficult path so there are some easy path is available and i want to share that i want to even share uh, where i failed a problem in learning mathematics why i failed face this problem and I want that nobody should um, uh, follow that path. What are the easiest path? These are the motivation of conducting this workshop. I, I don't want that um, people should leave the uh, mathematics uh, without any reason. They don't know that uh, because that time they don't know the world or that uh, they don't have any wider experience. But I experienced everything in my life uh, uh, from that day and uh, uh, now I can realize that my uh, uh, what decision I had taken that time was wrong and that path is not a right path and what should be the right path. All these things comprises my uh, this interactive session in Contract Bridge. Earlier I, I was thinking to uh, uh, bring few, few people and uh, teach them. But it is not uh, worked. It has not worked because they don't want to uh, listen my stories. They want to learn uh, what they require. So I cannot tell uh, uh, what they require. I cannot teach uh, that one. So now I am not uh, uh, even... Uh, this platform is uh, one thing. If you have some problem, you can ask, ask me. Otherwise, I will share my ideas. So who want uh, he can take or who don't want uh, it he can skip no issue. So in that way I am trying to uh, follow actually. So the point I was to uh, wanted to share is that these uh, 16 student when we work together I have found that um, Microsoft Excel is one of the best option. One of the best option in the sense here every uh, thing you have to do yourself so if you uh, don't know the mathematics properly you cannot proceed or you cannot do 
so if you are if you have to do you have to know it you have to give the input data you have to give the input formula you have to everything you have to do simple so uh, if you want to get a result you have to uh, learn everything and there is uh, nothing uh, required in syntax as i told you learn three things one is modeling or uh, plotting one is matrix multiplication and one is that um, slider these three things you learn you can do anything as uh, i should say uh, total mathematics now what i am trying to do and uh, tell you that you learn addition in uh, 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 school level uh, subtraction multiplication uh, then uh, division exponentiation this five operation if you know and if you know the three techniques of modeling then uh, animation and matrix multiplication then any mathematical problem you can solve oh, whether it is a phd level mathematics or class 1 level mathematics doesn't matter so with this uh, i'll be uh, moving ahead with that and today's actually uh, the demonstration i may not finish uh, today tomorrow i i may extend this uh, this i want that uh, as i explain this uh, again i i should say this is an equilateral triangle uh, a tetrahedron having such a uh, four uh, equilateral triangles uh, and uh, if you add this uh, four equilateral triangles then uh, you will get the tetrahedron so what uh, uh, munish ji has uh, done in iit gandhinagar the creative learning um, initiative that he has put all this uh, thing he has created himself he, they um, sell these things also and at the same time uh, he has put it so that anybody interested they can do it so this i have taken and i have cut this in uh, four numbers and i have not made this uh, slots in between or whatever it is there uh, but i wanted that uh, to create tetrahedron not that lamp so my motivation was there so after uh, adding these four pieces like that you have to take four pieces you have to create four pieces like that and these four pieces so in a joint like that it will also form a equilateral triangle a bigger size here four equilateral triangles are there and then if you uh, fold it uh, like that if you if you fold it like that and this is the tetrahedron it is it is not uh, looking a, a regular tetrahedron but actually it is a regular tetrahedron got distorted and uh, uh, due to this uh, paper uh, if i uh, if you use a stiff paper you can get it but my challenge is that you have to model it you have to show it uh, here i can tell that you take this uh, equilateral triangle but computer will cannot take uh, uh, equilateral triangle you have to give the dimension and you have to tell that it is an equilateral triangle so to create a equilateral triangle you have to give them uh, points two points has to uh, they are to make a line like that at least three points uh, you require and three uh, you have to ensure that it is a equilateral means all the sides are same so how to do that and if you uh, i are uh, today i will be going how to uh, create that uh, tetrahedron uh, one by one but uh, already i have created this um, figures but uh, i will uh, create it again for your uh, so that uh, you can also i i request all the school teachers uh, they should encourage their students that you um, do that and uh, as a activity you do that as an activity when your uh, student starts doing these projects 
they will become masters and i think they will be the next iit uh, if they follow this process nicely so uh, to do that first thing we have to learn again i will start with a point how to plot a point so uh, first you require an x and y so x and y and any values you can uh, give 2 and 3 suppose you you want that uh, plot to 2 and 3 so here uh, uh, menu is there i think menu is not visible that way i can make it bigger uh, let me check display setting i can make it Anyhow, uh, let me continue. So here, uh, insert uh, menu, and then uh, scattered, and then uh, scattered with a straight line. This is the uh, this is appearing. Uh, scattered with straight lines and markers, and then when you click it, it will uh, give you a blank window. Yeah, and in this blank window you right click on that and here select a data source here uh, then it is given legend entries add so I want to add a point in a one point I have to uh, name it I can give any name uh, point some name you can give here you can type also or you can select from any cell And x values, this one the x values C4. We, we will uh, not enter the data, we will take from the cell 2 and 3, and then your uh, point will be there. And when this point you select and uh, then right click, you will get uh, here option for dat data levels, and then right click on format data levels. Here you have the option of uh, uh, selecting series name, x value, y value and this point will appear like that. This is the point. So uh, this is the way we can uh, draw the point. Now um, large number of points if I uh, So when when uh, we require a uh, equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle means the length should be same. So equilateral triangle uh, values, I have to give that uh, coordinates of uh, each point and uh, I should know that. But it is very difficult to get a equilateral triangle in, a, uh, in any uh, uh, particular size if we require. So what I can do, I will do a uh, equilateral triangle of uh, suppose length 6 and uh, uh, the coordinates of that I will select from a clever way uh, that is from uh, circle. I will, I will draw a circle and uh, that circle uh, is defined as the all the points uh, which is equidistance from a particular point so particular point let us uh, in our case take it as a center and that center and the distance from that uh, so this two makes a circle but you have to do it in your computer so how you can proceed so it is there that two things you have to remember your distance should be constant but angle goes on changing, 0 degree to 360 degree. So angle goes on changing when the uh, distance remains same from the center to that point. These point, those points, particularly the collection of those points comprise the uh, circle. 
so uh, now i am uh, what i am describing i am giving a shape on that and you think uh, that how it is done so what i my case the angle changes from 0 to 360 degree and here uh, 0 to 360 degree means uh, let us say t td whatever i have taken uh, dg uh, angle in uh, degree so uh, this is 0 then 1 just i am uh, I, I you can do later in different way but for the teaching shape i am uh, doing that uh, in a long way long process so 360 degree is there but computer never uh, understand the degree it uh, generally it takes at radian so 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 how radian is to be converted degree divided by 180 into pi pi values you need not give pi it is uh, this is the only, uh, some uh, parameters which you can write here so pi i have written uh, and then if i uh, click on the corner all the formulas will be copied here you can see this so these are the angles uh, i want that uh, but here uh, suppose radius of that uh, circle is uh, 6 or 7 anything you can take so 6 now uh, we will be using polar coordinates and uh, these are uh, first time when you hear all these things it will appear uh, uh, new things uh, for you but when you start working on this then you will frequently uh, switch between uh, cartesian coordinate and the uh, uh, polar coordinate so here i am uh, uh, talking about the x and y uh, but I will be taking the help of uh, polar uh, coordinate system. Okay, so x and y I will be plotting in Cartesian coordinate, but values will come from the um, uh, polar coordinate system. So for that, this is the x for me, this is y for me, and x is equal to r cos t. This is r. I will not enter the values here. I will take the cell, uh, uh, cell and then cos. Uh, this is the angle uh, cos t so this formula I have written not c i s c o s uh, cos cos t r cos t this is formula is r cos t and then this formula is r sin r i have to select here so this and again if you uh, click on this double click on this corner you can see this corner there is a uh, box sort of thing uh, all the formulas will be copied now this x and y selected again this uh, plotting the point and plotting a circle is same process is same this is the beauty actually i want to tell this plotting whether you plot a circle whether you plot a point does not matter the process is same as i told uh, in matlab and other packages you have to learn everything uh, 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 separately here if you learn this one thing you can do that so this is the uh, circle with radius uh, 6 now I will take a help of uh, this uh, to make a equilateral triangle. So equilateral triangle means one thing we know that uh, the angles are uh, the edges are with 120 degree. So if I take suppose some again uh, T uh, red T degree first.
same values now i am taking it for my uh, equilateral triangle so first i will be taking a 0 degree then 180 de 120 degree another point 240 degree another point and lastly 360 degree or 0 degree uh, same both are same and we will convert it again with uh, this uh, radian divided by 180 and beauty of, of uh, all these things that you have to do same thing repeatedly so you will uh, need not remember automatically it will come to you so we, you uh, we have this uh, four angles and all these angles having uh, this uh, uh, six edges radius and then we will use same formula r cos t r into and then again y is equal to r into sin r means uh, this into sin So, we require only this, uh, this as not. So, we got uh, these values and now if we plot this x and y, these are the x and y in this. So, let us see what happens. Add all the x values these are the x values these are the y values you see uh, and this you can uh, write triangle so we got triangle you got, you got it now these uh, triangles are uh, all equilateral triangles because because the length is uh, 6 everywhere all these corner points uh, is 6 now what i have to do i have to fold it all these uh, edges i have to fold it so i require for folding i require midpoints so how we can get the midpoints uh, here uh, step by step i will go and you will learn the geometry automatically these are the geometrical and um, uh, trigonometrical problems and uh, let us uh, name these angles a b uh, c and uh, again a so these are the angles now midpoint of a and b so name it as a d midpoint of b and c name it e and c and a name it f so so d uh, what will be the value of d this is equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 and uh, for y also this is x and this is y is equal to same y1 plus y2 by 2 and then we can you can copy this formula so these three points has come and if we uh, take this first point and last point means this is also D. And then draw this inside.
now you see uh, <laughs> this is the thing i want to do now i got that uh, 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 the crease of the folding uh, uh, what where we, i have to fold to get the uh, tetrahedron so this is uh, i i want to finish at uh, this today because this is up to now i am in 2d up to now i am in 2d and everything whatever till date we are having in our education system and worldwide wherever who is teaching mathematics who is trying to do many things holding this this is the technique what is the speciality of mine once you know this how to fold this uh, uh, 2d object and create a tetrahedron in your laptop then you have captured the 3d world and when you can capture this 3d world and animate it uh, after uh, creating that i will rotate it i will translate it i will uh, make it larger or smaller reflect it anything i will do and in that way you will learn all the animation required for mathematical modeling and uh, uh, create any real life of problem so this is the starting uh, model what i will be creating and uh, uh, i i will show it again uh, here uh, i faced where i faced problem first thing i uh, faced problem in Uh, getting the size of the sides, I require to get a um, uh, equilateral triangle, and this equilateral triangle, if mathematically uh, without mathematically manual calculation, if you want to get a equilateral triangle or coordinate of any equilateral triangle, it is very very difficult. You will not find. and there are uh, many uh, many uh, problems in that uh, that is also a, there is a great mathematics or there uh, it tells that in a uh, in in a square grid you cannot uh, put any regular polygon with all its edges on the uh, node except square so uh, there are so many polygons are there regular polygons are there but uh, 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 you cannot uh, put it in a uh, grid uh, i i i'll just show it in uh, our um, smart board we have now a smart board what actually i mean to say Uh, mm. when we uh, tell all these thoughts from to your students no and we teach the mathematics on that you will uh, uh, not face uh, any problem students will also not face problem uh, and uh, both you can uh, create this uh, polyhedra physically and uh, uh, you can uh, finish your uh, course but when it comes to uh, creating a model mathematical model every uh, higher you will face some uh, mathematics involved in that and you have to understand that how to solve that mathematics and once you can uh, do it solve it then it will become very very simple so i was telling about that uh when we put a square grid put a square grid is there any provision for putting any grid sort of thing i i was thinking somewhere grid is there automatically grid comes anyhow so uh, uh tomorrow also i i'll uh, try i think there are some, we can make it as a grid so it, this if it is a square grid in a square grid 
uh, only regular polygon. Regular polygon means uh, whose uh, every side are equal, angles are equal. So, only a square you can put. like that a square or a bigger square 2 by 2. So, uh, these nodes can be uh, you can put only for a square any other uh, means if I if you put a triangle then that triangle or particularly equilateral triangle you cannot put it in this nodes in 3 nodes you cannot triangle requires 3 in vertices now, but 3 vertices you cannot uh, put it in grid uh, because this uh, will not be a uh, uh, regular uh, triangle. Uh, so, like that pentagon, hexagon, any regular uh, 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 polygon you except a square you cannot put. So, these are the unique uh, mathematics and uh, really uh, you will get uh, involved in this are uh, so many things a uh, small things and uh, uh, you can have a research project on that. You can find out uh, some uh, uh, regular uh, polygon which we have not discovered, but it can have a, a place in a uh, regular grid. Uh, if you can discover that then you can uh, be, be a world famous. So, say very small small uh, matter also have involved so many intricate mathematics. So, this is the thing. So, when we talk tell about that you take a equilateral triangle. So, taking a equilateral triangle uh, mathematically uh, what we require? We require this coordinates no? It is very difficult to calculate who has not tried he will not understand that. This x 2 y 2 y 3. So, what I have done I have made a circle and I know that in circle that we uh, we can get the equilateral triangle. So, this is also saved. So, uh, math mathematics everywhere and uh, in uh, my school days I used to think that uh, we know uh, already all the mathematics uh, we uh, that is required for our daily life we know and everything has been discovered. But now I know that lot of uh, uh, situations in our daily life for which mathematics is required we do not know about that and that uh, research is going on thousands and millions of mathematicians are engaged on solving many of these problems. And these problems need not be a uh, problem of outer uh, uh, world, it can be a simple uh, problem like that. First day when I uh, encountered this uh, problem, I have not even believed because I never think that, I uh, thought that. Uh, some nodes we can put in some nodes, uh, it may be larger or it may be shorter. But later I learned uh, that formula that no, we cannot put it uh, a regular polygon other than a square in a square grid. So, like that. So, here first uh, problem we encounter how to create how to uh, put a uh, equilateral triangle in uh, 2D. So, that we have created and tomorrow I will uh, I how I can make it in uh, folding uh, uh, um, creases also I have done it how you can do we just add the x 1 x 2 x uh, and y 1 y 2 also and then uh, you can uh, divided by 2 you will get the midpoints of every edge and uh, join those edges you will get the uh, uh, point uh, line of for where you can fold. But tomorrow when you uh, start folding 3D uh, many other things are required. I will explain that one by one so that I will explain how we can move from 2D to 3D world and 
you can create this tetrahedron, the simplest uh, polyhedra. Okay. So, with that uh, I uh, will uh, stop here today and anyone having any question, uh, they can uh, uh, raise this question uh, 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 repeatedly. I am telling that uh, these are the interactive sessions and I wish that people get uh, engaged in that they can come uh, to my uh, this studio, they can share uh, the DAS with me, they can share their thoughts, they can uh, connect with uh, the uh, any students want to come here in the studio, they can come and uh, we can arrange a class uh, room sort of uh, uh, arrangement we can make here and if they want they can join from uh, me from remote uh, every day we share our uh, zoom link and uh, from that zoom link you can interact you can uh, see our programs in uh, youtube you can see our programs in uh, uh, facebook my facebook uh, page you can see this in uh, gotv uh, Bande Gujarat channel uh, 14, you can see this uh, dish uh, TV, uh, Bande Gujarat uh, channel 14 and uh, connect uh, with us. And this is a um, uh, program uh, which was uh, uh, approved and supported by uh, Gujarat uh, Secondary and Higher Secondary Education Board and uh, in, in uh, other way government of Gujarat. So, uh, you can uh, uh, join this project without any thing, there is no financial uh, requirement, no registration fee, any one uh, from Gujarat are, um, uh, can join here free of cost and uh, we do not charge to any school or any uh, parent or any students or even government. So, uh, we are trying to make mathematics popular globally. So, <laughs> and uh, any time, uh, you need not, I have given me my contact numbers and uh, details uh, about um, uh, connecting with me, I think. This is the uh, this is the my uh, contact number uh, email also there. So you can uh, anyone who wish to contact me, they can contact me. And uh, tomorrow I'll uh, start with a two deep. Uh, how uh, 2D, the weakness of Cartesian coordinate system, that will be my starting point and how this uh, weakness can be solved by uh, using uh, homogeneous coordinate system, that will be my main focus tomorrow and tomorrow also I will try to uh, show how we can capture the 3D world and we can create this uh, tetrahedron in Excel. So, with that I will be uh, stopping today and have a good night and uh, meet you tomorrow. Thank you.